I just couldn't catch my breath anymore. I was, I, um, I was so short of breath and I couldn't walk because I was dizzy all the time. And that's when I, Dr. Jumper got into the picture. He eventually found what was wrong with me. They made very sure that she was understanding what they were telling her. Typically patients that have valvular stenosis or aortic valve stenosis develop symptomatology which um, she was displaying. And there's different classifications of that symptomatology from very mild to very severe. She was in the most severe group of that classification. TAVR actually stands for transcatheter aortic valve replacement. And in basic terms, we're replacing the aortic valve without doing an incision on the patient's sternum. Um, it is a procedure that was developed because of the inability for high-risk surgical patients or inoperable patients to undergo that procedure. I'm 91 years old, and I never thought I'd live through this, but thanks to Dr. Jumper, I feel so much better. I think my mother wouldn't be here right now if it wasn't for this technology because she never could have withstood a conventional operation. When uh, TAVR became of interest to the institution, it was not a decision that we could pick TAVR, but TAVR had to pick us. The um, contrast prior to TAVR and post TAVR is remarkable. We see our patients who could barely walk from the chair to the bed and after TAVR, they're walking in the halls and the smiles on their face, is, it's just so rewarding. Now, uh, she's like her old self again, you know? She does housework, she cooks meals, um, she goes to bingo twice a week. Uh, last week, she jumped on the bus with the other girls and went to the casino. Um, so, um, I couldn't be happier. Um, she had life before, but the doctors gave her quality of life. I, I just don't have the words for how I feel about this hospital. Gentler hands, sharper minds, St. Vincent's Medical Center.